بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ابنائي الاعزاء طلاب الصف الاول الثانوي النهارده لقاءنا باذن الله هنتكلم على ليميتنج رياكتنت تو نو ليميتنج رياكتنت وي ماست نو ذا كيميكال رياكشن كونسيستس اوف رياكتنت اند برودكت رياكتنت اند برودكت رياكتنت ان ليفت سايد برودكت ان رايت سايد واتس مينت باي ليميتنج رياكتنت ليميتنج رياكتنت means the reactant which consumed completely and produce small amount of product again limiting reactant substance which consumed completely and produce lower value of product so it considered as limiting reactant to solve problem of limiting reactant potassium hydroxide solution reacts with sulfuric acid according to the following equation 2 KOH react with sulfuric acid H2SO4 to produce K2SO4 plus 2H2O what is the limiting reactant when 4 moles of sulfuric acid are present with 3 moles of potassium hydroxide 3 moles of potassium hydroxide how we can solve this problem firstly get every reactant with product 2 KOH produce K2SO4 H2SO4 Produce K2SO4. 2 KOH, 2 moles. 2 produce 1. If we put 3 moles, calculate the mass produce X equal 3 times 1 over 2 equal 1.5 mole. 1 mole produce 1 mole. If we add 4 moles of sulfuric acid it will produce x x equal 4 times 1 over 1 equal 4 which one is lower product lower product 1.5 so k o h is limiting reactant this is problem is very easy and this is the way for solving it another example 2 h2 react with o2 produce 2 h2o calculate the mass of water produced from the reaction of 16 grams of oxygen with 16 grams of hydrogen if we have 16 grams and 16 grams hydrogen equal 1 oxygen equal 16 as seen, 2 H2 produce 2 H2O. O2 produce 2 H2O. 2 moles produce 2. We have 16 grams of hydrogen. Calculate number of moles 16 over 2 equal 8. 8 moles produce X. Cross multiplication, X equal 8 times 2 over 2 equal 8 mole oxygen 1 mole produce 2 moles 1 mole of oxygen produce 2 moles of water we have 16 grams of oxygen 16 over 32 mole of oxygen equal 0 0.5 half mole produce x cross multiplication x equal 0 0.5 times 2 over 1 equal 1 which one is lower 8 or 1 1 is lower so oxygen is considered as limiting reactant third one calcium oxide react with water according to the following equation CaO plus H2O produce calcium hydroxide calculate the remaining unreacted mass of water when 1.45 grams of water 
are added to 1.5 grams of calcium oxide. We can solve it CaO plus H2O produce CaOH2. To calculate the amount of water, CaO react with water. Calcium 1.5 water X. Calculate the molar mass of calcium oxide 40 plus 16, 56, water, 18. Cross multiplication, x equal 18 times 1.5 over 56 equal 0 0.48 grams. But we have from water 1.45. So the remaining mass 1.45 minus 0 0.48 it will produce unreacted mass of water 0 0.097 grams this is the idea of limiting reactant as we solve we have some problems for Avogadro's number Avogadro's number one mole contain 6.02 10 power 23 atom molecule or ion. This is the rule of Gadro's number. What is the number of atoms of oxygen in 0.1 mole of hydrated copper sulfate? Hydrated copper sulfate Cu SO4 dot 5 H2O. How many atoms of oxygen? 4 and 5 9 oxygen, 9 moles of oxygen, 9 mole of oxygen, 1 mole contain 9 moles of oxygen, 1 mole 0 0.1 contain X. We can replace mole by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 power 23 times 9 cross multiplication x equal x times 1 0 0.1 times 9 times 6.02 10 to the power 23 the answer equal 5.42 times 10 to the power 23 atoms because we calculate the atoms of oxygen another idea Number of atoms in 0.5 mole of acetic acid, CH3COOH equal. In this question, in the answer, he write Avogadro's number without written 6 point. It produce 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 moles Avogadro's number in 1 mole, but 0.5 contain x cross multiplication x equal 0 0.5 times 8 over 1 equal 4 avogadros 4 times avogadros we have two problems very important according to the reaction 2SO2 plus O2 produce 2SO3 if you know that Atmospheric air contains 20% volume of oxygen. Before solving the problem, atmospheric air contain oxygen 100, contain 20. The equation 2SO2 plus O2 produce 2SO3. What is the volume of atmospheric air at STB which required to react with 10 milli of SO2? 2SO2 react with oxygen. SO2 10 ml. Oxygen X. From the equation, 2 mole react with 1. Cross multiplication, X equal 10 times 1 over 2 equal 5 ml. 5 ml. We return again. Atmospheric air contain 20% oxygen. 5. What is the mass of atmospheric air x equal 100 times 5 over 20 equal 25 
ملي ليتر اجين اتموسفيريك اير كونتين 20% اوكسجين 100 كونتين 20 فروم ذا ايكويشن 2SO2 بلس O2 بروديوس 2SO3 وي جيت ذا فوليوم اوف اوكسجين رياكت ويز SO2 وين وي هاف 10 ملي 10 ملي رياكت ويز X 2 مول رياكت ويز 1 كروس مالتيبليكيشن 5 Return again for the first relation. Atmospheric air contain 20. 100 contain 20. 5 presence in X equal 25 mL. Another problem for chemical formula. What is the chemical formula of oxide of nitrogen which contain 63.64%? 2. Write the chemical formula. Nitrogen and oxygen. The percentage of nitrogen 63.64. Oxygen, the remaining of 100, equal 37.76. Number one, percentage. Number two, atomic mass. Nitrogen 14, oxygen 16. Number of moles 63.64 over 14. Oxygen 36.30. Over 16. Divided, we calculate the number of moles and make a simplify. Till reaches 2 to 1. 2 to 1 means the formula in 2 O. This is how we can write the formula by using percentage. First step, percentage. Second step, atomic mass. Third, we calculate the number of moles. Till reaches the simplest number. We have some examples. The empirical formula of C4H8O2. What's meant by empirical formula? Empirical formula, simplest ratio between atoms. To calculate the empirical formula of C4H8O2, we must simplify. Divided for the smallest number. Divided 2. Divided 2, C2H4. O, C2H4O, choice number B. All the following compounds have the empirical formula CH2O except. We can try for each one. The first one, HCHO, collect CH2O, right. Number two, CH3COOH, C2H4O2, right. Number C, COOH2, no, except COOH bracket 2. Number of units of the empirical formula in C2H2O4. Divide it to the number which we will divide to empirical unit. If the empirical formula of a compound CH2 and its molar mass is 56 grams, its molar formula equal to calculate this problem E empirical M molecular empirical CH2 molecular unknown and the molecular mass 56 and we can calculate the empirical formula C12 plus 2 hydrogen 2 14 cross multiplication x equal c h2 times 56 over 14. We calculate how many times 56 include of 14. It contained 4. 4 times c h2 c 4 h8. This is the molecular formula c h2 empirical formula. This part is very important and we have another example for actual yield and theoretical yield actual yield it is the yield which formed during chemical reaction as precipitate this precipitate always less than theoretical yield why due to some materials stick at wall of the tube or presence of impurities 
or gas evolved. So, actual yield is always less than theoretical yield. As an example, show the graph final yield A and B. The opposite figure represents the change in the amounts of the substances which are produced from a given reaction. Which curve represents the theoretical yield? Theoretical yield higher, but actual yield or practical yield is lower, smaller than actual, theoretical. Calculate the percent of the actual yield 12 minutes after the beginning of the reaction. 12 minutes, we can use your ruler at 20, 12, put point at the first curve and the second curve, A4, B8, 4, actual yield, 8, theoretical yield, times 100, calculate the percent equal 50%. Another one for the actual yield, we have an reaction 2, CHCL3 plus 2CL2 produce 2CCL4 plus 2HCl. 11.9 grams of CCH3 reacts with excess of chlorine to form 10.2 grams of CCL4. This is the actual yield. We can remain it. And 11.9 grams react with excess of chlorine without calculation to produce CCL4. Calculate molar mass of each one. C12 plus 1 plus 3 times 35.5. 119.5. CCL4 12 plus 4 times 35.5. 154 cross multiplication we can calculate the actual yield 11.9 times 154 over 11.95 equal we can calculate the theoretical yield then we put 10.2 over the theoretical yield times 100 to calculate the percentage of the actual yield. We must know how we can read the graph and get information from it. This is the important part in chapter two, problems, and we must prob uh, solve more problems to help us in the exam. شكرا لكم وده كان شابتر 2 ده مهم قوي حل المسائل اللي موجوده في قلبي ويا ريت نتدرب كتير قوي على حل المسائل وهنلاقي الدنيا سهله وتبقى بسيطه ان شاء الله باذن الله شكرا سلام عليكم